So now we actually have a model, right? We have set up, go, and transact, and together they create the behaviors that we're observing at the top of this, the model, right? The top of the interface tab, this visualization that we see. But the question then becomes, well, we're interested in more than just that, right? We're not just interested in what it looks like on this idealized visualization. We're also interested in just the analytics. And one of the things that you might remember is that we gave each turtle $100 to begin with, and there's 500 turtles, and they can't die, and they can't, um, they can't reproduce, right? So, and all they can do is give money to each other, right? And there's no money that's created, and there's no money that's destroyed. So the wealth of the system is always equal to 50,000. There's always 50,000 wealth units between all these agents, right? Um, so all that changes over time is that distribution. So one of the questions that people have been interested in this model is how does this distribution change over time, right? Um, and one way to think about this would be to think about is the distribution skewed? Are there a small group of individuals who control a disproportionate amount of wealth? And so as you might guess, one of the things we're interested in calculating is what is the wealth controlled by something like the top 10% of the economy and the bottom 50% of the economy? So there are simply two reporters that control this. And a reporter is like a to command that you've seen before where we define a function for an agent to take, um, except for the fact that in a reporter it actually returns a value. So we've created two report top 10% wealth and two report bottom 50% wealth. And we can execute these commands in the observer and say top 10% wealth and we get a value back, 10, 5, 84, and we can say bottom 50% wealth. Oops, if I type her. And we get another value, right? So in this case, right now, the bottom 50% make more than the top 10%, but not a lot more, right? And this is five times the number, right? And so you would think that it'd be much, much higher. Uh, but as you can see, the lines are starting to cross, and we'll explore that visualization later. So in the top 10% wealth function, what do we actually do, right? Well, so the first command that you see is a sum. So it's gonna sum the wealth of all the turtles in that group, right? Now, the group we have to define, and we'll get to that in a second, but it's gonna sum the wealth of those turtles, right? So sum wealth of some group of turtles, right? So how do we find that group of turtles? Well, we find that group of turtles by using the command max n of. And max n of actually uh, takes a, a number of, of inputs, right? And in fact, this is a good place to kind of check out the NetLogo help library. So you can go up to help in the NetLogo tab and you can, for instance, look up in the dictionary that particular command, right? And as you can see, it says it takes a number, an agent set, and a reporter, right? Um, and so it's going to, in this particular case, take all three of those inputs. And so in here we see a number, which is count turtles times 0.1. So we want 10% of the number of turtles. Count turtles is gonna tell us the number of turtles there are times 0.1 is going to tell us what ten, a tenth of that number is. It's going to take an agent set, which is the turtles, and then it's going to take the reporter, which in this case is just the wealth. So max n of is going to return a tenth of the turtles who have the maximum wealth. And if there are ties, it breaks them randomly, uh, but that's essentially what it's going to do. So, then we're going to, so now we have a tenth of the turtles that have the most wealth. We now get the actual value of their wealth from them, and we sum it. And in fact, you can play with this code a little bit and break it down. So I can take this count time turtles times 0.1, I can paste it into the observer and see what that number is. And as you might imagine, we have 500 turtles, so count turtles times 0.1 is 50, right? I can then say max n of count turtles times 0.1 turtles wealth, right? And it'll give me an agent set of 50 turtles who have that maximum wealth. And then I could say wealth of max of n of turtles times 0.1 turtles wealth. And it gives me actually the wealth values for all those turtles. And then 
I can do the full thing, which is summarize them. And if I hit, if I turn off go, so it stops running, right? And I run that command, and then I say, what was it, max, their top 10% wealth, you can see those two commands are the same. Now, the bottom 50% command does almost exactly the same, but rather than doing the max n of, it's doing the min n of, it's doing 50%, right? So count the turtles that are 50%. So we know we have 500 turtles, so this should give me 250, right? We can say min n of turtles 50% wealth, and now I don't know what that's gonna be, but it should be an agent set of 250 turtles. And then I can say the wealth of those, and they, you know, because they're the minimum wealthy, it should at least, if you look here, be less than the maximum, right? So 398 to seven, 294 to eight, right? Now these are randomly sorted lists, so, you know, it's not always the same, but you know, you can see that it's less. And then if I run the whole command, I should get the same as the reporter value, right? In fact, 8601, and then bottom, oops, sorry, the wrong button, bottom 50% wealth, 8601. So there you go. Those are the reporters that we're going to now use in our graphs and our monitors and other things. And in fact, um, one thing I want to show off real quick before we start is that these monitors are except doing nothing but calling those reporters. So wealth, 10% wealth, and uh, sorry, the wealth of the top 10% just calls top 10% wealth, and the wealth of the bottom 50% just calls bottom 50% wealth. So there you go, there's the, the reporters.